Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I hope your week is going well for you. Um, my week is going fairly well here. It's been very busy and I have my first exam tomorrow. <gasps> did you did you hear me vlogging? You want to be in the vlog? Come here, say hi. Come here. Oh, you want to look out the window. <laughs> um, so I have my first exam tomorrow and I'm a little bit nervous, but I... I've done so much, my brain is like, it's it needs a break, so I was like, I'm going to vlog. <laughs> but, um, this, uh, I did find uh, my binder, I don't, it was up here, I just needed to look for it, um, and this has in it our, um, our receipt for our hotels and our plane tickets and our map because I, I was telling you how we mapped out a kind of where our, our strategy I guess for Magic Kingdom and I know this is a very poor map but um I could probably show you a better one but basically this is the center what we're gonna do is go straight in uh, down Main Street we're gonna go over to Adventureland I believe um, and we're going to start in Adventureland and basically, like, grab fast passes for, you know, the, um, the Jungle Cruise. And while we're waiting for that, we're going to go do the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. And then we're going to just kind of work our way around in, like, a U-shape, I guess. Um, grabbing lunch and, and snacks where we need to. Um, but that's the plan. And I think it, it will, depending on, like, fast pass times and stuff, and we usually use the little app for the phone that shows like which rides have what wait times and we know a few things like um, if you go on Splash Mountain during like the light parade or something at night um, you wait like five minutes like it's ridiculous um, but so anyway I just wanted to show you guys what I found that um, and one of the little projects I've been working on for the spare room here is um, we ordered these Disney maps and they're super cute. They're all like old school looking, really classic looking. Um, but I don't know here. I can try doing things this way. This is a, a little bit better of a map, but basically we're going to come in through Main Street. We're going to hit up Adventureland over here, do Jungle Cruise, Treehouse, and then we're just going to work our way through and around. And then, you know, once we get here, um, depending on how long that takes us and, and whatnot, we can go back to whatever rides were favorites. But that's just, I, I've gone on a few trips where it's kind of like, we're going to do something over here, and grab a fast pass over here, and then go over here, and then get a snack over here. And it's, it's just a lot of extra walking. So, now you know our strategy. <laughs> so that's what's new with that. And we're kind of in the process of working out the details. With getting ready, it's getting closer, and, um... I'll probably do a pre-packing um, video or a packing video or something before we go to, but um, I have a mini haul. Um, we were out the other day and grabbed a few things um, that we would need. So here, um, this wasn't really on the list, but I saw it and I thought it was, it looked like Nate. And he saw it and I was like, I thought this looked like you. And he doesn't all the time like things that I pick out for him, but he really liked it. So um, it's this like oversized beach towel that's actually like tall and long enough for him because he's so tall he's like I think he's like six foot I think <laughs> um, but I just thought it was so pretty and it just looked it's kind of like quiltish looking like a, a beach quilt but but it's a towel and it's really soft and this was from Target I think it was like eleven dollars or something um, yeah, so Target, they've got a bunch of beach towels out right now. And I didn't get one for myself because I already have uber many beach towels. Um, so then we went to Old Navy and I I threw out all, I only had a couple pairs of flip flops, like the cheap plastic flip flops that you get from like Old Navy and Gap, whatever. Um, but uh, Nate had always been like, oh, they're so bad for your back and and bad for your, you know, your knees and everything, and I, I was like, okay, well, I don't want that, so, 
Um, I got a pair of Tevas, which I might not have shown you guys, but um, they've got like the back strap and the strap, and they've got ankle support and and all that the good stuff. And but I was like, if we're going to the pool or the beach or if you need like shower shoes, like I don't have anything like that anymore. Um, so we went to Old Navy and we were looking at the ones there, and they used to be super cheap. They used to be like a dollar something a piece, like two for three dollars or or something, and this year they went up a little bit in price, it was like two for five or something, which isn't terrible, but I mean, I know I've seen flip-flops that are like, have like sparkle on them and stuff, they're like 20 or 25, and I'm sure more expensive than that if they're brand name, but, um, so I was looking at them and I didn't really see any that I was like, I loved, and I didn't really think that I needed two pair, so I'm like, well, why don't you get a pair? So Nate went over to look at the guy's sandals, and he's like, well, they're a different price, um, I think, actually, I think the girl sandals were like 50 cents more or something. They're like two for five fifty, or they're like four dollars for one. So you're like, I can pay four dollars for one, or I can pay five fifty for two, like a dollar fifty more. For, it, it made more sense to get two. And he's like, well, the guy sandals are two for five. They're a different price, so I don't think they'll do the two for price for them. So I was like, well, what if I found? like a neutral pair or something of guy sandals because the flip-flops they you can't really tell the difference really between guys and girls flip-flops I mean, what if we both get a pair of the men's ones so I went over there and they had these ones which are kind of like a peachy like a oh what would you call this like tangerine or something um so I thought they looked cute <laughs> and were a little bit more feminine than like some of the darker colors and I actually think they're more comfortable especially for like beach or shower shoes because the bed of them I think that's what you call it the bed or the sole or whatever is just a little bit wider so you have more to stand on and um, and I like that so and then he got like this army green color um, he said they were comfortable and so those are our flip flaps for water activities <laughs> and then I have been looking for one of these hats uh, for a while um, just because of the whole um, trying to take care of myself and um, just be, being careful out in the sun and stuff and, and they're really cute besides so I've been looking and keeping my eyes open for I don't know quite a few months now so Nate finally was okay with me getting one, and I, and I haven't gotten used to wearing it yet, and I feel a little silly because I'm like in grungy today, and it's like raining outside. But um, this was from Old Navy also, and I forget how much it was, but um, Nate thinks it's cute, and it works to keep the sun off, and I'm excited to bring that with and have that for a walk around the park because you're like out in the sun all day, and. One of the last trips that we took with my family, I got so sunburned, I think we were at Typhoon Lagoon, and my face hurt so bad, and I had some, like, aloe with me that I had brought, but for whatever reason, either it, it was, like, past its, its like, its best by date, or, or it had gotten warm in the sun, or something, but it actually stung when I put it on, and I'd put it on, and then I'd still be out in the sun, and it was stinging so bad, like... It, it hurt so bad it felt like it was just burning so um, we ended up going to the store and I spent like however much money for an overpriced bottle of um, I forget what it's called. <laughs> I forget what it's called but it's uh, like the aloe that's in the spray bottle and it's like the super super strength stuff and that was like heaven I think I sprayed it right on my face and it felt so good it was like so <laughs> um, but so now I have hat and that won't happen again <laughs> so um, yeah so I'm sure I will probably do like a prepacking or another planning video kind of like teasers and they're getting me excited because we're getting closer and um, it's fun to buy a few special things to make the trip you know all the more exciting and, and to be prepared for it so that's what I've been up to and hubby 
Well, hubby had picked up a few pizzas because we we're both like super worn out from the day. So we got some DiGiorno pizzas that we're going to have and we're going to um, watch the rest of the first Star Trek movie. I don't know if there's more than one movie, but there's the new one that's out, Into Darkness. And he says, I need to watch the one uh, before that one so I know who the characters are and stuff. So we're watching that one and it's pretty good. Uh, we're only like half an hour into it or something, if that. But, so that's our plans for the evening, and, yeah, it's good to vlog, sneak a vlog in there on a Tuesday, <laughs> um, and then I should go study. But, um, thanks for watching, guys, I really hope your week is going well, and, um, yeah, take care, I'll see you again soon, bye.